All right, guys, so I'm going to be doing some more Patreon requests, and starting off, we've got one from Alistair Bondman, who asked me to do not so much a crossover, but more of a team-up involving Agent Venom and Captain America. So yes, they have met before, but we're going to have like a little retcon of their first meeting, because they have met in the... They did meet in the Rick Remender uh, comics. Um, well, not so much a retcon, more like a lost team-up between the two characters. There's the better word. So yeah, it's more it's more of a lost team up between the two characters. But as always, if you guys would like to have a Patreon request done, just hit the link below, head on over to my Patreon, where you guys can start sending me requests for videos to do here on YouTube. But other than that, hope you all enjoy this, and uh, yeah, let's get started with the video. So the story is, the story begins with uh, Captain Amer with Steve um, investigating a recent attack on a uh, U.S. government base. The base was infiltrated by AIM. There was a direct attack from AIM by this group. And what happened was that these AIM soldiers were much different. Like, they weren't your typical, like, they weren't cyborgs or robots or genetically enhanced. Well, that wasn't essentially true. They were, it turns out they were enhanced and they were actually enhanced by symbionts. So AIM now has, a, it has symbionts. And Steve, and this is Steve Rogers. Uh, like I wanted to clear, I did say Steve. God, I'm, I'm, I'm think I've got a lot on my mind, so I'm a little, my, my mouth is moving faster than my brain. <laughs> Sorry, but yeah. So Steve is essentially, um, uh, sent in to investigate this, and seeing the, like the uh, cameras of this military base, and seeing AIM soldiers with what looks like symbiotes, he's like, well, this is problematic. He's, he's very much like, yeah, this is a pretty problematic uh, scene, so I have to, uh, so I better go um, talk to the one person who, who does have a symbiote, or at the very least symbiote-based knowledge. So Steve goes to, uh, to talk to, um, he goes out and finds Agent Venom. Now keep in mind, this isn't when Flash Thompson becomes Agent Anti-Venom, this is him with the Venom suit. This is like during the Rick Remender era of um, of Agent Venom. Like the Rick Remender, Cullen Bunn era of, of uh, his Venom run. Of that, uh, yeah, that Flash Thompson run. Like I said, a lot on my mind. My brain's going everywhere. So Steve basically uh, contacts him and he's like, uh, Venom, uh, we need to speak, we need to talk. And he's like, yeah, sure, uh, what's up, Cap? And Steve lets him in on like what's going on, and he tells him, "Look, Cap, uh, like a few uh, like a few days ago, there was an attack on a military base, and these it, it was attacked by AIM. But the uh, but the crazy thing was the but the insane thing was these AIM uh, soldiers had symbiotes, and he's like, that's not possible. Like Flash is like, that's not possible. That shouldn't be possible because." Really, the only people with symbiotes are me and Cleet. Remember, this is like him, Cle like him and a few others. Like it's a handful right now. Like I'm the only one who would really be anyone who would really have a symbiote at this point. I mean, there's Eddie Brock with Toxin, and he's like, um, there's no way they could have gotten their hands on a symbiote. And he's like, and Steve reminds him, well, this is AIM, so uh, so there's a good shot they could have a chance at get at getting a symbiote. So, um, yeah, so Steve, so Steve is like, look, is there any, like, he, he just flat out asked, um, Flash, like, is there a chance at any point they could have gotten a hold of your, a piece of your symbiote? And he's like, no, that's not possible. Like, the symbiote and I are so connected to each other that we would realize that a piece was taken. And then Steve goes, well, what about the other symbiotes? And he, and he goes, yeah, again, not possible. Like, we would, uh, like... Uh, we would feel like our hosts and the symbiotes that we're connected to would feel like something's off and, and a piece of us being hurt or tortured. So that makes Steve go, well, something's going on and I'm going to need your help for this. And he's like, yep, no, like say no more. I'm, uh, let's go kick some aim ass. So the two of them head out and, you know, Steve is following some sources, the sources from within S.H.I.E.L.D. And he tells them like, look, there's this, um, there's this outpost and research facility that some of my contacts have been following. So let's let's start there first. So they go in, they whip, uh, they kick ass against them, and that's when they discover one of the aim shield, uh, the aim symbiote 
uh, soldiers. And as they're battling him, he's like, um, uh, Steve and Flash are just battling this uh, symbiote soldier. And during the fight, uh, Steve is like, is there any way we could, is there, like, what are the weaknesses? Fire and Sonics. So they try to hit him with, like, fi hit him with both. Like, uh, Flash is hitting him with high impact, um, py uh, um, pyro explosives. They're not doing any damage. So they have to beat it down the old fashioned way. And when it gets knocked out, when they take him down, the symbiote doesn't come off him. And he's like, that's weird. The symbiote would usually, like, crawl off, like, move, or try to, like, work on healing the body but this is doing none of that in fact like at flash is explaining to him like in fact my other is saying nothing about that like it doesn't feel a presence of another symbiote so they do they take it like they uh the two of them take a p uh, take the symbiote off of the soldier and take it to reed richards um and reed explains like oh yeah this isn't a real symbiote like it it like they've taken data from symbiotes so it's like They've probably taken data off of symbiotes, but this isn't a real, true symbiote. Like, it's it's like a pseudo-symbiote that they're using. And they're like, well, MODOK must have figured out how to make, you know, taken enough data and samples from symbiotes, but he couldn't really figure out how to make a real, like, control a real symbiote. So why make a real one when you can just, you know, why have a real one when you can just, f like, um, copy and paste another one? So, yeah, so Steve is like, well, we're going to have to figure out and stop this before he can ma they can make more of them. So they t uh, they uh, interrogate the guy, and, he, and, the guy and the soldier's like, I'm not scared of Captain America. We've trained ourselves to not be scared of them. And that's when Flash is like, let me handle this one, Steve, uh, Cap. And he just goes full venom on him, and he's like, what about us? And he spills his guts. Not literally, but figuratively. So... Steve, uh, like, after uh, Flash basically explains that, hey, got the information, let's go. So they go to this base deep in the Amazon where MODOK has been, uh, has been li uh, like, he's been making the one, these um, pseudo symbiotes, these artificial symbiotes. Um, Flash and Ka uh, Flash and Steve arrive on the scene and he's like, ah, Steve Rogers, I was wondering, um, I was wondering when you were going to show up and you brought, uh, and you brought, um, agent, the Agent Venom I've heard so much about. This will be fun. So that's when MODOK unleashes all of his, like, symbi uh, uh, symbiote soldiers. Um, the symbiote super soldiers, if you will. So Steve and Cap have to, like, fight their way through them. And they're tough, because they don't have those same weaknesses. Um, during the fight, um, Flash goes full Venom and just starts ripping and tearing his, just full Doom Slayer on all of these symbiotes. And eventually he get it like Steve has to prevent him and, and like call like talk to Flash directly as he's trying to like rip Modoc out of his chair. He's like, Agent Thompson, you know, uh, you know, so, you know, Captain Thompson, draw, uh, you know, stand down. So he has to like talk to the soldier within him to get him to like calm down, uh, Flash to like c get the reins in on the symbiote. So by the end of it, they destroy the artificial symbiotes. And Flash is like, hey, you know, sorry you had to see that. Uh, you know, it's uh, we're still learning, him, uh, you know, this other in me. And he's like, I understand. You're like, Steve is like, you know, what, uh, um, I get it. Um, I've seen a lot of people with that duality. <sighs> Trust me, I had that a lot with Bruce. But he basically says, you're not this monster. And that thing that's attached to you isn't a monster either. So one day you two will understand that. So they go their separate ways, and Flash Thompson's just like, I just had a fucking mission with Captain America. Score. This is how what it's like to feel like Spider-Man. Anyway, so there you go, guys. That is pretty much my uh, Agent Venom Captain America team-up. Uh, once again, I'd like to thank Alistair Bowman for this uh, Patreon request and continued patronage. And uh, as always, if you guys would like to have a Patreon request done, just hit the link below, head on over to my Patreon, and you guys can start sending me requests for videos to do here on YouTube. That's on the third tier of the Patreon, which is in the link below. But other than that, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.